But Chet pulled a Colorado on me and had the HOA board take the damn oval off my name and replace it with a hot dog. <laughs> the old man Grady Jr. Show. It's a simple show where all your dreams come true. Oh, quit letting these feral f***ing cats in the house, Chet. We live, boss. Welcome to the Old Man Grady Jr. Show. I'm your celebrity host, Old Man Grady Jr., and you are watching the number one live show on the internet that we know about in this town. As always, I'm joined by my esteemed sound man, Chet McGregor. Hey, guys. On today's show, we're going to be giving you an update on week three of my December workout challenge. Then, we're going to be reacting to a new viral cat cooking tic-tac that was illegally posted to my YouTube account. Finally, we're going to inform you of an ongoing voter fraud legal battle that I am in with my own sound man, Chet McGregor. Stick around. We've got a stumbling drunk little rascal of a show for you today. I want to start my work day off on the right foot, and that's why I drink Big Rex's breakfast time whiskey milk. At 210 proof and 105% alcohol, it hits hard. Big Rex's breakfast time whiskey milk. Hey, pal. You can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. Warning, not recommended for people to have to do stuff. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's show, Leprechauns. Leprechauns, you'll never know if they're there. All right, so this is now week three of my December workout challenge. Now go back and watch the last couple episodes if you'd like to get caught up on the specific workout and diet that I am doing. But here's the results. When I started, I was 206.2 pounds, and I am now 199.2 pounds for a total loss of 7 pounds. And here's a pick on day 1 versus 21. We got a super chat from Little Bernard 12. He says, I wish you were my real dad. Well, Bernard, statistically speaking, I probably am your dad. So who knows, buddy? All right, well, it's no surprise that Katerang69 is back. And for those that don't know... This guy hacked my YouTube and is illegally posting dog sh cat videos to my account. So in this latest video, my understanding is this went absolutely viral on Tic Tac yesterday. So go ahead and play this thing, Chet. You got it, boss. Ooh. Welcome to Catering with Kitty. On today's show, we're going to make my world-famous fur soup. Yeah. Simply add two cups of flour, yeah. a tablespoon of catnip, yeah. a half gallon of pickle juice, yeah. and a handful of kitty fur. Yeah. Then give it a little whisk. Yeah. Simply simmer on lava hot for 43 minutes, and congratulations, you've got delicious homemade fur soup. Yeah. Catering with Kitty. With Catering and Kitty. Yeah. Wow. What an absolute joker this guy is, and to make matters worse, this son of a bitch sent me a Christmas card that says Happy Bolidays, and I suspect that these are actually his balls on the card. Just absolutely unbelievable that this guy hasn't been caught by authorities. The other thing that's pissing me off is that this video went viral, and all the local restaurants are serving fur soup now. You gotta be kidding me, boss. No, nope. People are so brainwashed by their phones that I ordered lobster bisque, and they said all they had was fur soup. A big cat with a big tail can be a big problem, and that's why we invented the docking shears. Simply measure four inches from the base of your cat's tail and let the docking shears do the rest. <laughs> docking shears, finally, we have a solution. All right, I want to give an update on the ongoing litigation that Chet and I are embroiled in at the moment. So several months ago, I challenged Chet for president of the Ranfield Homeowners Association, and my philosophy was to keep it simple because Chet is so terrible at verbal communication. Well, that's not true, Lafu. Well, because Chet basically can't talk, and I think he just proved my point, I literally just ran this ad. Go ahead and play it, Chet. Okay. And that's why I decided to challenge Chet McGregor for the president of this great homeowners association. I'm Old Man Grady Jr., and I can talk. I'm Old Man Grady Jr., and I approve this message. So long story short, the election was yesterday, and going into the election, I was up 90% to 10% in the polls. But Chet pulled a Colorado on me and had the HOA board take the damn oval off my name and replace it with a hot dog. <laughs> well, the damn voting machines can't read hot dogs, so I literally got 0% of the vote. Loser. So I lost the damn election to Chet. 
So now I have to go fight Chet in court, <laughs> and we'll let you know the outcome of this litigation over the coming months. You better lawyer up. All right, lawyer. guys, I got to get out of here, do my workout, so we won't have a giveaway today. But I hope you don't get stabbed over a TV at some holiday sale. Instead, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, and I hope that you are all treating your fellow human beings with love and kindness. Stay harder, America. Thank you.